Today on Attack of the Show, it's Mac versus PC. Then it's a miracle of modern science as Diet Coke and Mentos collide. And which of these hot MILFs will take home the title of MySpace Girl of the Week? All this and more on a live and totally original Attack of the Show, starting right now. It hasn't sounded like that in a long time. They, uh, they sound like sand people right yeah. now. We have a very <laughs> exciting show. That's why everyone's in here today. That's a frat house initiation. Yeah, thank you. Thank you got you. a man crush over there. I have all men. I don't care what he said. It's, uh, it's a man weird, crush. Actually. Welcome to Attack of the Show, everybody. It's Wednesday the 12th, and I am Kevin Pereira. What's up, everyone? I'm Olivia Munn. We are live. And we're breaking a world record today. That's right. Forget the, the hot dog eating, yep. the raw egg drinking, and the guitar smashing. We've been there. Done that. We've done that. We're kind of over it, really. That was five seconds ago. Today, <laughs> we're talking explosions. Explosions that look just like that. Call the bomb squad and get out your fallout shelter ready. That's right, because today has been Talkalypse Now! That's exactly what it's what? going to Come look on, like. Come on, let's hear it. One man graphics exactly. department. He does it. Yeah. He works hard for that money. And Zach's outside helping rig it up. Hey, Zach, what's up? What's going on out there? I love the smell of Mentos in the morning, Olivia. <laughs> and watch out, Charlie, because today we're setting a world record with Mentos soda geyser bombs. Yeah, that's right. Now, some people might have seen this on Letterman or on the internet, but uh -huh. they've never actually seen it nope. like this. Not ever. like G4. How many bottles of Diet Coke are we actually going to use to break the record, Zach? Kevin, our ammo is 150 bottles of Diet Coke and Mentos. The explosion wow. takes two hours to set up, and since the start of the show, we have entered the point of no return. <laughs> That's really exciting. This explosion of Diet Coke is actually really serious business, isn't it, Zach? You will address me as your commanding officer, Mon, and I'm defending <laughs> your freedom today. And don't worry about me. If anything goes tragically wrong, it will have all been worth it, because today, as Kevin already mentioned, is Mentocalypse Now! Did you know that if is the middle word in life, man. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Um, sir, yes, sir! Wow. Uh, it's been a tough week for him. I'm glad, glad he's back, though. <laughs> no, I'm Thanks, glad Zach. you're back. We're going to check in uh, in a little bit, but right now we are terminating with extreme prejudice. Mm -hmm. Time to go down the river and take you... around the net. All right, so I'm looking online last night, surfing, yes, around the net, people love the graphics on the show. Uh, I'm <laughs> surfing the web, as the kids call it, and I came across this handy little how-to, a nice little guide. Mm -hmm. That's right, it's a gentleman's guide to unhooking a bra. Wow. Now, I didn't know you boys needed to actually help. Well, uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I was never really good at it. Really? Um, yeah. When did you get good? I, well, I just date loose women who don't wear them. <laughs> but um, after reading the site, I think I've got it figured out. You know, I, oh. I think it's pretty, in fact, you, you mind if I... I give it a whirl. I realize now oh. it's about. Wait, you want to try on me? Yeah, you don't oh. mind, right? I can no, even I do it over mind. the shirt. You just get it and it's. Oh. It, yeah. You feel <laughs> it. You, you let it know and then you just you squeeze and it unsnaps. No, let it go. Let them show the work. I'm really... Hold on. Let me put it back on. Oh, don't. Like, don't take the camera that. off me. Oh, please. We'll put okay. it right here. It's okay. Um, all <laughs> That's right. That's pretty good. I'm actually impressed. What? Go for, go for it. Go for it. It's fine. Um, I didn't know you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Okay, easy. Cold hands. Cold hands. Wait. I was. Wait. What did you... Oh. Thank you. Look at mine. That was good. Um, That's a big bra, Kevin. That was, you were really rough, though. Uh, you'd think you'd be a little smoother at it by now. No, um, was... I like it rough. I think you scratched so me. So I just, did oh, I scratch you? I think you did. And Sorry, don't pretend like you don't like it. I did. That's I like actually it. a really big bra. I didn't know you were Well, that. you know, I work They're out. a little saggy now, though. I drink the Myoplex. It happens. <laughs> All right, next up, MySpace can give you a lot of things. Dumb surveys that your friends post at 3 in the morning, automatic friendship with some guy named Tom, a way to meet underage girls, and now it can even give you a seizure. Yikes. Yeah, check out this dude's pro profile, which has so many flashing lights, you'll be shaken worse than meatloaf on a cold day. Oh, mm -hmm. come on. <laughs> That's good that, one, was, huh? uh, that was funny, actually. <laughs> and finally, proof that everything was better in the 80s. Here's a commercial for the old classic racing game, Pole Position. Hey! Yeah? You look like a real jerk. 
Well, I am a corporate executive. He stops exciting things from happening. So what you doing? Well, Muffy, Buffy, Biff Jr. and I are going on our Sunday drive. Oh, no, you ain't. You're going to play pole position! Yeah! <laughs> awesome! Okay, it's amazing how unexciting the game looks compared to real life. Yeah, I don't remember the, the giant hand coming down in pole position to grab your car off the track, but yeah. it's still pretty sweet. Well, you know, it's like anything with fake 80s rich people named Muffy has definitely got yeah. my vote. I love the, you know, just the thought of 18 Atari execs in a small spa, you know, doing coke and <laughs> drinking Cristal and coming up with the idea for this commercial. It's basically how they came up with the idea for AOTS. Ah, oh, I love yeah. the 80s. <laughs> That's enough internet for you today, folks. We don't want to leave skid marks on your soul. Mm -mm. Go to attackoftheshow.com for the links to everything you just saw. Right now, though, it's time to inject news straight into your veins. Here's Layla Cayley in the feed. I got the belt. Thanks, Kevin. It's feed time, and here's what I'll be talking about today. First up, the gang from South Park have lots to celebrate lately, and not just because of their Emmy nomination. Stick around, and I'll tell you why they're so darn happy. Plus, what Hollywood superstar is going to play Master Chief? I have an answer, but you'll have to be extra sweet to get it. And finally, bad news for Sony. The PS3 might be delayed again. Find out what got screwed up this time, and lots more. All coming up in the feed, but first, back to the couch. Feed. Thank you, Layla. Thank you. It's got to wake him up a little bit sometimes. You got to let him know when it's. it's it, there wasn't a good, good enough graphic. We, we, uh, we can't afford a, an applause light, so I just have to kind of rile him up. Just kind of get him going. You're not going to believe this, actually. Last night, uh, I'm, I'm sitting there, we're playing the Uno online, and then the trash talking starts, as it yeah. usually does. And someone actually called me a PC. But, you know, like the, the, the Apple yeah, commercials where no, it's like, oh, I'm a Mac, I'm a PC. I get well, it. And you are a PC. I don't. I'm not a PC. You are a total PC guy. All right. See, here's the problem. A lot of people that, that use mm -hmm. PCs, they're offended by the campaign because all of a sudden now it's a negative thing to be a PC, it, which I'm not. Well, in a but weird, now it's an insult. Well, in a weird way, the other day, um, some, I have got my video iPod, right. and I was trying to hook it up, and someone said, oh, just hook it up to your Mac. It's all easy. And I go, oh, well, I have a, a PC. And they go, oh, exactly. Did they do the, a little scoot? It's like I said, yeah. I like you know, hated Asian people or something. Like right. They were just like so, like they're like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? Why don't you have a Mac? <laughs> yeah, yeah It's not a good thing. One's acceptable, but clearly. <laughs> ah. Which brings us to the old controversy, I guess. Mac versus PC. Yep, so today we're going to get the nerds riled up with a Mac versus PC debate. Time for the poll question. What will your next computer be? Are you going Mac or PC? Let your passion be heard. Vote on our website at attackoftheshow.com or via text message. Text your vote to G4TXT. That's 4489. Eight. to vote and register for AOTS Live News Alerts. Now, don't get off that leather-stained computer chair of yours just yet. We have a lot more ahead. It's soft. Next, Mac versus PC for all the money. And later, get an inside look at Olivia's rack. Pacey's on him, and then you like go like this, and they spin around. Stay tuned for more Attack of the Show. It's a Attack of the Show. Attack. Attack of the show. Attack. Welcome back to Attack of the Show. We are live and talking Macs versus PC. Before the break, we asked you if your next computer would be a Mac or a PC. Well, according to our poll results, which were tabulated after minutes of grueling button pushing, 70% of you said your next computer would be a PC, and 30% said your next computer would be a Macintosh. Well, let's go on over to Kevin and get the debate started. All right, yes, it is one of the oldest debates in recent computer history, Max versus the PC, but it's actually gotten really ugly lately. First, there's the recent Apple commercials that started poking fun at PC users, and now a recent Forbes article is predicting a boost to Apple's market share because of their new ability to run both Windows and OS X, or OS X, if you're hip. Now, the computers are personal, the people are passionate. It's Mac versus PC today in the loop. Joining us via satellite to help us make sense of it all from the G4 studios here in lovely Los Angeles, resident PC evangelist, William O'Neill. Nice Max hat. Suck. Stay strong, buddy. In Washington, D.C., Seth Stevenson from Slate.com, the online magazine, and also in Los Angeles, comedian and Mac user, Brody Stevens. Gentlemen, welcome to The Loop. Seth, Thank you. I want to start with you, sir, because you wrote an article recently about these Apple ads. And, and I got to say, do you think they're effective? Are they getting people to switch? Are they effective? 
You know, I think they're, they're funny and entertaining and they're very eye-catching with all that stark white space, but uh, I don't think they work because I don't think they're going to win over new customers. That The guy representing the Mac is sort of your classic, stereotypical Mac user. He's so smug about how great his Mac is. He's wearing a hoodie. He's the hipster slacker in the jeans. He's going to make a short film. That, that, those kinds of people are already using Macs. If they want to reach a new demographic, they should use a different type of actor. Uh, also, as a PC user, the ads kind of insult me. Uh, you know, they make me out to be this dorky guy in dorky glasses with an ill-fitting suit jacket and, uh, you know, I only use spreadsheets and pie charts. That's ridiculous. I'm, I'm a PC user. I don't, I've never touched a spreadsheet or a pie chart. Yeah, and Will, Will O'Neill's a PC I, I, user as well and he's as hip as they come. He's got the hat and the glasses and hey. some sort of accessories. I'm a Mac <laughs> user. What about me? The, those ads insult oh, me. Geez. Bro, do you feel insulted by, by the Mac ads? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the virus, the guy, you know, coughing, we get it. Oh, you're coming out of the box. They're not... You know, they're appealing to middle America, which is fine. But what about the guy who already has the Mac? It's just I, those a commercial. Ads reflect me? It's a commercial. It's just a commercial. Well, yeah. now, Will, who is the commercial for, though? Is it for middle America? Is it for somebody who loves Walmart and Larry the Cable Guy? I mean, or is it for, yes. uh, for, is it for people who have never used a computer before? Those crappy commercials are well, actually... Well, that's the problem. Right? But those commercials are for Apple people to feel good about themselves as Apple people who are the underdog. They're like Pepsi to Coke. They're losing the war. I don't feel good it's, about it. Well, you know, I, I guess it failed to make you feel good. Then buy a PC then. Well, then it's failed, on every, it's failed on every level because it's preaching to the choir, but Mac yeah. people themselves are, feel insulted by the image portrayed yeah, that, well, there. That's I just because think Mac people, here's the thing, everyone. I don't hate Macs, I hate Mac people. Mac people now are you're so personal. sensitive. They're so sensitive. It's a computer, it's a tool. Sensitive. It's like, who cares? You know, you buy the computer so you can play games, which is better to do on a PC, to, to surf the Internet. You, know, you can do that on, on, on a Mac PC, a Windows-based PC. I mean, who cares? And, but Mac people are so sensitive about their little, their little platform. Will, you're getting personal here. How dare you? I'm not into video games, number one. And I've had a PC. I had a performer back in 94. You're a I, total nerd. I have, no, I'm not. I am not. I'm an athlete. I work out. Let me tell you something. Yeah, Brody, you're ripped. But, but really what, is it, what does it mean to you to be an Apple enthusiast, to have a Mac? Are, are you one of those guys who has a Mac and it works for them and they're happy? Or do you dress in white and worship, uh, you know, Steve Jobs? <laughs> well, no. I do love Pixar. No, here's yeah, the shrine. The iPod brought me back. I was a PC guy. Ever since. Oh, Brody, you got to do PC. iPod is an inferior MP3 player. To, I, had to... an, I had a Rio. I dropped it. It don't work anymore. That was in 1998. No, it wasn't. It was 2000. I dropped my iPod River last week well. and it stopped working. But, Brody, I want to hear. Do, do, you, do you feel that there's a cult of Mac when it comes to Apple users? I think there is, but I don't, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I, I don't... I, the, yes, there is. Yes, sign up. <laughs> Meet me at the mall. Which Which is silly president because in 2008, yeah. flip flopping. It's silly if you like the if you like the design of your Mac. That's that's yeah. terrific. But that doesn't mean you have to try to evangelize and convert everyone else and tell them how great Macs are and how terrible PCs are. Mm -hmm. I like my ThinkPad, but that doesn't make me a ThinkPad person. <laughs> I don't go around telling everyone they're so stupid because they don't use a ThinkPad. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, the differences between these operating systems are not so profound that we need to define our entire lives. Why don't we talk it. about the people? Agreed. I'll tell you what. When I go to a Mac store, great service. I had a PC guy, always a hassle. I don't see the social <laughs> skills. I'm being serious. Yeah. Mac Mac social skills, That's PC, true. these guys, they're stuck in a room no, playing Brody's, video Brody's games. got a point because the Apple store, even here on 3rd Street, I could go and hang out and have a latte and, and relax and surf the net. It's, it's a nice, nice little you know, comforting area. I always have fun at the window store. Now, yeah, there, the but there is no window store, Will. <laughs> the so Dell kiosk? For, for a PC guy, what do you have? What do you have, the, the kiosk <laughs> next to the local food court? That's a really good point. I guess, you know, you go online and you buy one. It's not that big of a deal. I don't need to go to a store to feel okay about my product. It's well, like, what about video? What mm -hmm. about video? How do you edit video? I actually don't edit video. I, I have people here who edit my videos for me. <laughs> oh, I do it myself. I'm hands-on, brother. <laughs> Grassroots, Will. I cut and paste. That's hardcore. Now, Seth, Seth, you're, you're a PC user. You said you have a ThinkPad. Yeah. Have you ever considered switching? I mean, obviously, these commercials haven't made you want to switch, but in the past or in the future, sure. will you consider a switch to Mac? Come on, Seth. I, I considered <laughs> switching lots of times, but you know what stopped me? It's not the difference in specs or price. The, the, the thing that's kept me from switching is the image of the Apple user, <laughs> and it's, be, it's become so cemented now that I, you know, I can't see myself as a Mac person. I feel like if I buy a Mac that says so much about me, uh, you know, I don't want to say that much about me. Exactly. I don't want my don't tell anybody. To, to describe and they see who wait, I am. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I got to go to go Brody. I got to go to Brody because it sounds like he wants you to compute in the closet. What was that, Brody? <laughs> no, you know, I mean, you don't have to tell. I, I, I use a Mac, but I don't have a sticker. I don't say, hey, I'm I a Mac. Do. I don't have it on my I license I bet you have an plate. Apple sticker on the back of your Prius. Oh, I, you know, I drive a Toyota Corolla. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he guzzles gas like the rest of us, 
I ride the bus, so who am I talking? All right, look, no, no argument about Macs versus PCs can be really complete without really an argument about Bill Gates versus Steve Jobs. B Bill Gates is going to cure polio, and he's probably going to actually cure AIDS, and Steve Jobs is basically this self-aggrandizing jerk who throws press conferences. Have I, I mean, seen the Pixar movies? I agree the completely. kids, the cars, the uh, Pirates oh. of the Caribbean? Look, I bet know, you it was done on my uh, Macintosh. Great. Steve it's Jobs is so self-obsessed that he had to eat. <laughs> Seth, what do you Steve have Jobs is so self-obsessed that when they made these commercials that, you know, clearly this is a representation of Steve Jobs, this, you know, the cool guy, and Bill Gates, mm -hmm. the sort of Dilberty guy in glasses. Even when they made the commercials, they had to give in a little dig on, a, you know, on, a, mm -hmm. on an ad hominem attack on Bill Gates. Uh, you're right. Bill Gates is doing wonderful things for the world, and Steve Jobs is, is catering to a tiny, weird cult of people. Well, I'm sure at some point he'll <laughs> save koalas in the rainforest, but unfortunately... But That's going to do so it, folks. Good. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, I, I don't think we've really settled the Mac versus PC no. debate today, but we definitely had some fun trying. Yeah. Right? Windows pe people are I just think. better. Relax, Will. Thanks uh. to our guests, Will O'Neill, Seth Stevenson from Slate.com, and comedian Brody Stevens. <laughs> thank you. Stevens, thank you guys so much for joining us and keeping us in the Thanks. loop. Right now, let's go over to Olivia. All right, thanks, Kevin. Still ahead, Tom Cruise may still be in the closet, but he's no longer hidden. In the feed, we'll tell you what's happening to the famous South Park episode, and Gothic Beauties will be on my rack. That's right, it's an orgy of fun when Attack of the Show continues. Welcome back to a live Attack of the wow. Show. Now, don't get all scared on us because things are about to go boom! That's right. Today we are having the largest Diet Coke and Mentos explosion Boom! ever. It's Mentocalypse now! <laughs> All right, let's check in with Zach on the progress. Zach, you there, buddy? What's going to happen <laughs> out there? Good to see you, Kevin. Listen, we're ready to burn the village. Now, Fritz and Steven, the creators of the Mentos Diet Coke experiment, are going to be dropping Mentos into bottles of Diet Coke. Well, hey, Zach, how does this work exactly? Allow me to illustrate, youngster. <laughs> Back in Fubai, this got me out of quite a few tight situations. He wants hey, to I want a up. pogo stick. Oh, sweet. You ready? I'm dropping nice. three. What? I should do it at the same so, time, huh? So you're dropping gonna in be Mentos? Huge. This is going to be huge. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Wow. See what I'm doing there? That's... So we're doing that with how many bottles? 150 bottles, Olivia. That's You've never seen anything amazing. like it. It's going to look like the Mirage in Vegas, these fountains. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess what, Fritz and Steven, they've uh, choreographed like the dropping of the Mentos into each bottle, and so it's actually going to be like a synchronized kind of show, right? Wow. It's going to be brilliant. Nice. That was just a little tip of the iceberg right there. You know, I, I got to say, war doesn't do good things to men because he looks kind of crazy out there right little now. Little haggard. Don't you call he me looked... a man, Olivia. I'm no. coming in there. <laughs> yeah, easy. He, ta he doesn't take kindly to that. <laughs> All right, Zach, we'll see, uh, we'll see you out there in a little bit for the mentocalypse. Just don't go away, Walt. Please don't go Please crazy. Don't. All right, now let's turn our attention to the dirty pillows, really, because you spend all night in bed, mm -hmm. you know, you're studying the features. It's about time that someone gave you a quickie. So here's what you need to know in the magazine world. It's Olivia's rack. That's right. It's my rack, and it's chock full of sweet mags, according to other things. Um, let's start with. So let's start things off with the latest Rolling Stone. Johnny Depp is on the cover. Dream boat, if I have ever seen Kevin's one. Kevin's dream boat. But who cares, right? Because there's a great feature on Iraq. Really? We've got soldiers throwing beanie babies at kids who flip them off. <laughs> They're yeah. rewarding guys. Yeah, for I, I guess giving so. them the bird. A guy with a tattoo pointing to his toe that reads, "Get this." Place tag here, which I'm That's, sure really freaks his mother out. That's pretty funny, and checks this picture out. Check this picture out. Those are lady soldiers in one of Saddam's old palaces. Wow. Yeah, I think he's probably freaking out. Well, yeah, we, showing skin is one thing, but they had back tattoos. That's even worse. I know, Saddam does not Saddam like Saddam actually watches the this show, stamp. so he's probably freaking out right now. Yeah. Next, we're taking a look at an interview with Will Ferrell in this month's stuff. It's about his new movie, Talladega Nights, but the whole interview he does as his character, Ricky Bobby, and he never breaks character once. Which is once. easy to do in print. I guess it is, yeah, right? Sorry. That's true. But uh, obviously, if you get bored by that, and Kevin seems like he might get bored by that, there's always pictures of Leslie Bibb, the mm -hmm. female lead in the movie. God bless Next, her. Revolvers got an article about the metal band Shadows Fall. Do you know that band? I've not heard of them, no. Well, the subtitle of the article is Beer Plus Strippers Equals Metal. 
Indeed it does. Yes, Indeed it does. They also rip into the snotty internet forum kids, which I'm yeah. sure you love that. No, dude, snotty internet forum kids are one thing, but metal internet forum kids are even the worst. They're the worst. Because they're, they're using their mom's PC, logging into AOL, but talking <laughs> about how metal they are. It's yeah. like, dude, relax. Go get some piercings Why and call me when you disown your family. Why gotta be PC? You're not metal if you use a Mac. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. And in combat tactics, don't let the review of the Manstopper 45 scare you. What? This mag exactly. This magazine has a huge spread on the anatomy of a SWAT team. It details all the personnel and gear. Hey, Kev, did you know there's a guy on a SWAT team called a gasser? You can pretty much guess what he does. Not real. Do you know? You're our gasser on our team. You didn't know that. Oh, sweet. But no, yeah. no. Right. And finally, a real treasure, gothic beauty. Oh, yes. Yes, this is chock full of gothy goodness. It's a... It's got a feature in the night of a goth, but the best part is each picture has the price of uh, the clothes the models are wearing. It's like the goth version of a MasterCard commercial. Yeah, check this out. Hannibal zip jacket, $113. Sinner, Sinner lace jeans, $125. Uh, but being a nonconformist just like everybody else, priceless. <laughs> priceless. Nice, mm. Kevin. That's awesome. And that's my rack. Check out attackoftheshow.com for a recap on this week's list of magazines. You can find all of these issues at any major bookstore along with pretentious jerks sipping coffee. Now don't go anywhere. We're making your head spin when we come back. Later, these mad scientists share an explosive secret. Then we go MILF hunting on MySpace Girl of the Week. Attack will be right back. Welcome back to Attack of the Show. We're live, locked, and loaded. Now make sure you stick around to the end of the show because we're showing you the Transformers trailer. Oh, great. And remember, later this week, it's Live Music Thursday presented by Denty Nice. And this week, we have our very own Zach Selwyn's band, Zachariah and the Lobos Riders, country hip-hop, right? Can't wait for it. They're really, awesome. really good. They're You're going to love it. They're very, very talented. But right now, here's the news that matters in the feed. But actually, before we start, i gotta, I got to clear up a little rumor that was What's going around. Rumor? What are the G4 offices, Layla? You, uh, you flashed somebody yesterday, right? Yeah, but it was accidental. You see, I was going to the bookstore as you do, but I had my nephew with me. You flashed he... your nephew? No, no, he had fallen awesome. asleep on my shoulder and my dress fell down. So I'm in borders and uh. I noticed my boob was out. Were you wearing a bra? No, I don't wear bras. I don't like bras. So then I said to the guy, I said, do you mind pulling my strap up? But everyone at Borders looked at me. Why didn't you put down your flash. nephew and put your strap because up? Because he was sleeping. Yeah, I and you don't want to wake up a 17-year-old kid. Oh, you just want to wake up a can't wake up children. A 17-year-old kid. You want to just, he's tired. He's got a day job. He was job. breastfeeding, for Rest? Christ's sake. Come you know? on now. Well, well done. Done. Awkward. No, listen. Awkward. Are we going to do a reenactment? Is that I'm what I'm hearing now? I'm not going to flash no. anyone today. Today, no flashing. You know what? Enough of this. Flash talk, you're embarrassing me. Okay. It's time for America's most trusted news source besides CNN, Fox News, the Internet, and The Daily Show, that is. Let's start the feed. <laughs> It's a bad day for Scientology, but a good day for everyone else. Last week, the controversial South Park episode, Trapped in the Closet, was nominated for an Emmy. And today, Comedy Central finally decided to rerun it. The episode, which makes fun of Tom Cruise and Scientology, was pulled from the air four months ago for being offensive. But now, it's finally getting its time to shine, so do yourself a favor and check it out. Suck on that, Overlord Xenu. The rumor mill never stops turning, and today actually spit out a cool story. The movie version of Halo has long been in development and shrouded in secrecy, but now there are reports that an actor has been cast as Master Chief. And the best part is that actor is none other than Denzel Washington. Oh yeah, he looks pretty hot under that helmet. If only he were a few years younger. Mm. Things just keep going wrong for the PS3. First it costs too much, then people seem to like the Wii better, and now there's a possible Blu-ray shortage. That's right, the diode that makes it possible for you to watch The Fifth Element in high def is in short supply. Lots of Blu-ray players are being delayed because of this. So does that mean the same thing will happen with the PS3? I guess we'll find out this Christmas. The story of Carl McDonald and one red paper clip is a long and interesting one. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to tell it here today, but basically, one guy had a red paper clip. He kept trading it for stuff that was better and better. And now today, he's hit the jackpot because he's traded his way to a two-story farmhouse. Way to go, Kevin. And you thought paper clips were only good for holding papers together and cleaning out your barn. 
And finally today, high schools have banned all sorts of things. Offensive t-shirts, skirts that are too short, sex with teachers. But now one high school in Texas is cracking down on grills. That's right. Students can no longer wear bling in their mouths. Teachers say grills have become a distraction and a health hazard as well. So sorry guys, take up this front and don't forget to brush. Well that's all for today. Head over to g4tv.com for even more news and info. Now watch those love handles because you've just been fed. Back to you, Olivia. Keep the faith, lots more ahead. Power to the people! Coming up next, the dangerous experiment you shouldn't try at home. Don't go away because Attack of the Show will be right back. The feed was brought to you by Cooper Tires. Don't give up a thing. What's going on here? Welcome back, kids. We are live and we're ready to break a world record. So let's welcome Stephen Voltz and Fritz Groba. Yes, we're about to have biggest Mentos Diet Coke explosion ever. It's Mentocalypse now! All right, folks, here we go. This is it. Two hours of prep, 150 bottles of Diet Coke, 1,000 Mentos, and an unknown amount of pressure buildup. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's time for the world's biggest Mentos explosion. It's Judgment Day. It's time for Mentocalypse <laughs> now. It's going to happen. Are you guys ready? I'm, I'm ready. ready. Let's make it happen. Very nice. Steve, now you're safe to come in. This. Incredible. Yeah, I almost walked out here earlier, and you had to you had to halt like as if you were bomb squad because exactly. like the thing could have blown at any second, right? Exactly. I love you guys. Got a little beat to it when you're doing your thing. Choreography. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Excellent well rhythm. Now, where, where did you guys? Uh, you got the idea. I'm assuming you saw this on the internet, but where, what brought, what made you take it to this level? A friend of mine told me about the basic idea. Right. I was on my way to Fritz's house. I told him about it. He said, "We got to try it." We saw it once. The next thing I knew, he said, 10 bottles. We got to do a fountain." We had a show that night at the Odd Fellow Theater in Montfield, Maine, where we work. We had we had 10 bottle fountain for that night. So in the space of like an hour and a half, we put it all together. That night, we showed it. it people went crazy. We're like, we might have something here. Now, is 150 the biggest show you've done today? Yeah, this, this is, is many this bottles is the as biggest we've ever one set we've up ever done. Wow. Very nice. Wow. That was really and cool. The wettest I've ever got. <laughs> I am I was, so. I was on the end there. You guys look like I could doctors. not see out of my goggles. So, of yeah. course, we're yes, we're doctors of pathology. Nice. Well, can you use um, Pepsi or does it have to be Coke? 
Uh, can you, you use regular Coke or does it have to be diet? You, you can, can use, use just about any soda. Just about really? any soda will work. Squirt probably Squirt? will work. Yeah, excellent. But if you're, if you're concerned about the figure and you're performing like this, you might drink a little, might as well go no cal, right? Absolutely. <laughs> the, the advantage sure. of diet is that it doesn't no get as sticky. No sugar. Ah. So it's not quite as disgusting to get now, covered. Now you guys have actually made a lot of money off of this video, right? Yeah, uh, we have uh, made over twenty-five thousand dollars. How does on... that work? How are you making money? On... <laughs> right. Well, um, we have advertising at epbird.com, which is our website. People huh? can go and see all the crazy stuff we've we've got at epbird.com, and also our video is hosted by the friendly folks at rever.com, and they're the ones who are helping us really and turn this into something. It's great. through Rever that we made the most, of, almost all the money that we've made. Wow. Now, our Mentos and Diet Coke really excited about the publicity you've been giving them. <laughs> Well, we've gotten a few t-shirts from uh, from the folks at Coke. That's it? Um, that's it, but they do seem to be enjoying it right now. And the friendly folks at Mentos have sent us sent us over 4,000 free Mentos wow. there you go. for our next project. But you still have to click the, clip the coupons for Coke and <laughs> go down from the double coupon. That's, that's, that's you, sad. You guys got to answer. You guys were on Letterman doing this. Um, yeah. This has got to be better, right? Oh. Tell me it's better. <laughs> this was awesome. This Tell was me it's better. This was awesome. this you just made them throw Dave in under the bus. That's hey, awesome. That's what oh, I did. Oh, well done. Appreciate well done, that. You guys were fantastic. Thank you Thank for the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. For more information on Fritz and Steven, visit their website, epbird.com. All right, now the horror the horror! That's it! From Mentocalypse Now! Ha 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 ha! Hey guys, we're showing you um, your hotties that have shot out more than just Diet Coke. It's the MySpace MILFs oh. coming up next. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. That was nice. really good. All right, welcome back to a live attack the show. I'm still a little sticky from some Diet Coke. Make sure you guys check out G4's Fast and Furious Formula D Sonoma. We have drift crashes, drifts, crashes, and tires turning from a solid to a gaseous form right before your very eyes. Only on Formula D. All smoke, no mirrors. Here's just a sample of the slideways action you'll see this weekend on Formula D. Ken Gushi in the Toyo Tires Ford Mustang on the left is going against Sam Hubinet in the Mopar Viper. Ken Gushi leads this part of the battle as Sam tucks in behind him. Ken gives a little e-brake pull as he goes into the drift. Both drivers are incredibly dialed in as they slide through the course. Check it out Sunday night to see who comes away on top in this battle and in the overall event. The competition is hot, heated, and ready to blow. You have to see it to believe it. Make sure to check out Formula D Sonoma Sunday night at 7 p.m. Now, a fact as common as the grass is green is that young single mothers, they're easy, but they keep them, so be careful. And we're here to help you get your groove on and maybe, maybe even get your new family. Who knows? All in one single click. We've found online MILFs, and we're sharing. It's the MySpace Girl of the Week. Zachariah is here. You've been practicing with the band? You guys yeah, been man, in the... we, we had one rehearsal. <laughs> you could... Are you going to get sloshed before the, before the show? Uh, we always get liquored up. Let me just tell you, bands that rehearse break up. They do. Remember that. But bands that pray together... Stay together. That's right. Exactly. Now, usually we have last week's MySpace Girl of the Week joining us via webcam, but Amy's busy. I think she's picking up her kid or something. Way something to go, like Amy. Good yeah. luck with your career. You know yeah. what? You're probably getting choked by your pimp right now, That's and true. I, uh, I hope he hurts you. Had, had problems adjusting the contrast on the webcam to blow out all the facial uh, exactly. hair. It facial happens. hair. 100. All right. Today is MILF Day on MySpace, and yes. we mean it. These are all mothers. Without further ado, Let's get to him, Zach. Take it away. All right, MILF number one. This is Chantel. Oh, She's good. from Simi Valley, California. She's a quarter century years old, and her quote, I am boy poison. I don't know if that's because you have a kid, because most guys exactly run away. What it is. Sign, cancer. You know, her favorite crayon color is spank me pink, which I find kind of interesting, because like, that wasn't in my 64 box. Right, I like choke me purple. Choke me purple is a lot better. And, you know, she says she finds people who iron their clothes very sexy, so I'm out. I don't see any ring. You steam your underwear. I, I do mean, that, but that's not an iron, and she's in irons, and I, I just True. don't match up with her. I'm really embarrassed about it. Fair enough. Who's now, the next one? 25, good age, quarter of a century for a for I'm a over her, man. All right. Iron clothes. You know, what if you just, this what ever happened Leah. to dating a hobo? That's right. Well, may, maybe Leah's your girl, or Leah's your girl here. She's 21. Her location is Seal Beach, Killa Cali. <laughs> 
whoever that is. I mean, it's probably a great, great, great place to raise a kid. Twenty-one-year-old mom, huh? Yeah, nice. yeah, that that says a lot. Life is good, according to her quote, which mm. is nice. If maybe she's trying keep to convince herself. Keep telling yourself that. Yeah. She's a Gemini, and next to her little man Riley and booty shaking music, mm. she's mostly just enjoys her well and well earned milfdom. Uh, I, you know, she's milfy. She's hot. I think, yeah. uh, you know, at 21 though. I mean, that's that's young. Interesting point thing. She also likes minty stuff, but oh. apparently not mint flavored condoms because, well. as we all know, not using them. Once again, I'm out. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, you like the the citrus flavors. No I'm more. much more of a, a nice fruit stripe kind of flavor <laughs> with, a, with a, you know. Oh, we'll get into that later. That's, that's a whole other segment. It, it really is. Much like this woman right here, this milf, Ms. Tanya. Ooh. Now, Ms. Tanya is from Phoenix, Arizona, my home state. She's 26. Very her quote cute. is just a spoonful of sugar. I don't know what that means. Maybe she's a big Mary Poppins fan because she has a kid and she likes to sing to her kids or something. Who knows? She's an Aquarius and she's a shopping freak, but she swears she will never be caught with a designer purse unless, of course, it's a Dior or Chanel. Well, you got it. Can't blame her She's there. hot, man. Look at her. Uh, that's not bad at all. I like the little kiss thing, the lace, the garter. You know, she loves golf and sewing, which mm -hmm. obviously go right, you know, hand in hand. And she admits that being blonde takes up most of her time. <laughs> which, I hate her. You'd think that being a mom would kind of be something Maybe. that would be time consuming, yeah. like taking care of her kid, but no, it's no, like blonde. mostly being blonde. Well, the number one most important thing in my life is being blonde, and two is my son. That's right. Priorities. Final MILF, Jamie, let's see her location, Fort Worth, Texas. I love me some Texas girls. Now, the <laughs> thing that concerns me, though, yeah. age 15. Oh, God. So either she's one of those girls on MySpace who doesn't want to admit she's a little 30-something. 17. Yeah. Uh, she put the 15, so who knows? Well, I'm thinking she's probably 15, because I know how they do it in Texas. That's right. I don't know. I don't know how they do it in Texas. Quote is, I'm the product of my own design. So she impregnated herself. Pretty much. Nice. Sign is cancer. And according to her, the J in her name mm -hmm. also is the first letter in Juicy, Zach. That's Juicy. so sad. Mm, yeah, very That's much really so. really sad. Uh, uh, obviously, she, she's making reference to her toaster apple strudels. Hello. Which is something that's there. And I don't know if that's what you call it or if that's what it looks like after you've had a kid, but toaster apple strudels. Let me just tell you, having a kid at uh, 15, your body's going to bounce back pretty quickly. Not I like problem. her. She's my winner. I hope we get her in the, in the studio. You think so? Yeah. Her via webcam? Via webcam, unlike Amy, who decided that she was too cool for Attack of the Show, Amy. Yeah, good luck. Giant flake. <clears throat> Excuse Loser. me. So did my throat. Now, <laughs> go vote for your favorite. Visit attackoftheshow.com. I just hope you're good with kids. <laughs> you're out, Zach. Sorry. Damn. Still ahead, we're showing you the Transformers trailer and talking to you in the monitor heads. And if you've been too chicken to send us a video voicemail, Zachariah, why don't you show it off? Here's your incentive. The first 25 people to submit one, they're going to receive mm -hmm. a Fruit of the Loom Attack of the Show t-shirt. This is all cotton. You know what? I'm even going to I'm even gonna wipe my sweat on this. There you winner. go. Clean yourself off and stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. If you haven't been watching Attack of the Show. How many bottle rockets are you going to shoot at one time? This will be loaded with 8,500. This is what you're missing. Attack of the Show is brought to you in part by the new Fruit of the Loom Blues Collection. <laughs> Welcome back to Attack of the Show. We're... A lifesaver in this just doesn't work the same. No, it's, it's not, not the same show. <laughs> doesn't work. It's not the same show. We are live and we're talking with you in the monitor heads. First up, Paul from Washington. This is Paul from Renton, Washington. Does gaming on the PC outweigh the viruses and crashes? I'm going to say no because viruses happen from downloading porn, which we all know is much more important than <laughs> playing video games right. next. All PC users do download the porn, though. That's the number one reason to get the, the Windows that's what's so That's what's so irritating about having a PC is all the virus. Now, you were saying maxi viruses, Listen, too, but not as many as a PC. Biased. Well, it's like if you're a virus writer, you're going to target the operating system that has, you know, X percent of market share. You're going to go the one that has Y, which is actually a lot larger than X. I don't know yeah. the exact numbers. Y, throw Y, I'm going to go with Y. All the forum kids yell, <laughs> and that's why you're not a virus writer. Right, exactly. Uh, no, I bet people target Windows. Listen, like, I use my Windows machine every day, and I'm, I sit next to people that use their Mac machines all day. They both crash. It all depends on what hardware you're running uh, but if you're just using the operating system and playing with calculator and solitaire on either machine no it's not going to crash so yeah. calculator is my favorite game. i say yeah if you're a gamer it obviously outweighs it but but don't think that windows machines are these buggy pieces of crap that always crash because they're not anymore quite frankly really yeah they're not all right next we have tatiana from massachusetts Hi, my name's Adriana, and I have a question which laptops are better for college mac or pc <laughs> Tatiana. Tatiana. I like the way she said um, that. She's I... a little laptop I'd like to have in college. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, uh, well, you... uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. 
All right, we'll move on from that. So uh, you love the PC. I had, I have a PC right now, but I really want a Mac. So uh, what, no, why do you, do you want a Mac? Because it's the trendy thing to do no, in, in it's Hollywood? It's, no, no, and it's way it's too expensive. Does actually. it match your curtains? No, I don't really have <laughs> curtains, unfortunately. Oh, okay. The, the shutters? Yeah, the maybe. Yeah. No, it doesn't. What? Uh, it's just that they're, you don't get as many viruses. Like, I get a lot of, lot of viruses. Wow. What about what with your is. computer, though? Right. <laughs> It is a fantastic question. It's really hard to use I'm the so mouse glad you're back it. on the show, Zach. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for stopping in. Are you a Mac or a PC guy? A Mac guy. Man. You are a Mac I'm guy. not going to argue for or against. All right. All right. One love. And nice finally, say. it's Matt from Virginia. Hey, Matt from Mechanicsville, Virginia. About video editing, and I'm talking about some serious hardcore video editing here. Should I stick with my PC or should I chip out the extra bucks and get a new Mac? Definitely go for the Mac. No mm -hmm. one does serious hardcore editing uh, on, on a PC. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's hardcore pornography, then it's then it's a cheap laptop in the hotel room you know, <laughs> next or, to the actors. Or do what Will O'Neill says and uh, get a job at G4 and have everybody else edit your stuff for you. Right. That's, right. That's right. Let me just tell you, in all honesty, I find that clearing your history on your visited websites is easier on a Mac than it is on a PC. PC, you got to search around, clear internet history. There's True. like four or five things. Right. I like the one click done. You know? Done. That's how you like to do it, don't you? It's one click and you're done. <laughs> that's it. Uh -oh. That's the only other time for. And that's all the time we have for voicemail, folks. Thank you for sending them in. Now stay with G4 all night, because up next we got back-to-back -back episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation, and then a 10 back-to-back -back man shows, followed by some interactive Star Trek, and we end the night right with Cheaters and Ed the Sox night party in Midnight Spank. Coming up tomorrow, we're checking in our world in our in our in with our old host, yes. Brendan and Sarah, as they're traveling around the world, they're going everywhere. They're awesome, and some band will be performing called Zachariah and the Lobos Riders. I hear they're pretty that? good. Never, never hey! heard of them. Hey, look at that. Really? We're standing next to the lead singer right now. He's so dreamy. He's so dreamy. <laughs> And I'll now, see you in the green room. A long-awaited trailer that's more than meets the eye. You loved it as a kid, but does it hold up? Let's see what Michael Bay has done, folks. Here it is. Transformers. Seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four. We've gone for main engine start. We have. Is that a trailer? I can, uh, I can transform into an irresistible sex machine. Really? <laughs> e oh, 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 oh. Did He's you there. do it yet? All right, for all the things you saw today and more, go to attackoftheshow.com. You are touching Zach. You're That's not even mine. touching That's me. I'm just, I'm just irresistible. See, hands. I'm sorry. When's Good the night, GoBots everyone. Is the GoBots movie coming out? Bye, everybody. Bye.